Kalosas Vrikane! Hey, thank you all for joining us uh, for another great show. We, I'm Bob with my lovely co-hosts. We have Rosa and we have Aurora. And uh, thank you guys uh, for joining us. Um, and today we have uh, Maria uh, Simpli with us, and she's going to show us how to make uh, Domata Keftedes, a lovely dish from the island of Santorini, which is, I guess, basically tomato fritter. She's going to tell us more about that. But um, in the meantime, we're going to bring uh, Maria on, and uh, Maria is going to help us. Hello, Maria. Thank you so Hello, much. Hello, guys. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> No, I just wonder. It's wonderful having you on the show. We really appreciate you being here, and uh, we look forward to this very delicious uh, dish. Um, oh wow, we already have people coming on and, and saying hello to us and in Greek. So if you ever want to translate anything for us, Maria, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> feel free to. Uh, okay, they say uh, good morning from uh, Kefalovriso. Um, we, we, we treat Greece everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's true. Well, hey, do you want to tell us a little bit about the, the dish that you're, uh, that you're, we're going to learn today? Yes, of course. This is, uh, basically it's, uh, tomato feeders, but, uh, not the way American people might know, especially from Texas and, uh, down. Uh, uh -huh. it's not uh, for example the sli the slice of tomato or, or a green tomato uh, that is deep fried uh, that is yeah, dipped in butter and then deep fried yes yeah, yeah. it's um uh, chopped tomatoes with uh, chopped to fresh tomato sauce with uh, feta that we we make um a, a thick butter and then we fry it uh, this is um, this is a delicacy that uh, is originated from uh, Santorini, and um, it's well served with uh, tsipuro or uzo. I've got that. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, well, thank you for being here. So I'm going to switch with the lovely Rosa. She's going to sit mm -hmm. here, and I'm going to go into the kitchen and. Um, okay. You know, and we'll uh, here. Let me uh, let me do this. I'm gonna add this to the stream. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna do this, and then what we'll do is move that over there. How and about let's get that? Cooking. And we're gonna get cooking Woo! here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, this looks really, really good. Are there any other ways to make this? Um, you could bake them, but I think uh, it would be more like a little uh, pie or a little bread thing. Uh, I think that I know it's not much healthy, but uh, the best way to eat it is uh, deep fried, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm fine with that. I mean, I like, I like deep fried. Yeah. Well, we're all fine with uh, deep frying, but. I don't know what our body and health says about that. <laughs> yeah, this is super good. Oh, I think he's muted. Let's unmute him. Ooh. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Should we tell him? I'll go to the guy. We're trying to unmute him. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's talking and he's not muted. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys hear me okay or am I breaking up? No. It's clear. <laughs> Is everything clear? Okay. Hey, uh, okay. So here we are. I've got um, diced tomato mm -hmm. here. I have my, my salt pepper. I have a couple of tomatoes. I, I couldn't get them as ripe as I uh, as I wanted, but uh, uh, no, got too much no salt. problem. <laughs> and we have um, baking soda, and um, I'm just gonna grab. Um, I think I need a little measuring things for the baking soda. Some of the butter. 
and I need this for later. Okay, I think I am all set. But yeah, we're a go. Okay, great. How do I start? Uh, first, let's chop uh, the tomatoes. Okay, I've got the tomatoes here. Mm-hmm. And it's two of them, right? Yes, it's the two two tomatoes. Uh, in some places, uh, they also put sun-dried tomatoes inside, except the fresh. Mm. It gives a kind of umami flavor. You know, I, I have some dried tomatoes I can put in there if you want. No, no, there's no need. Okay. Okay. Here we are. We've got those. We're cutting up the tomatoes here, as everybody can see. And, mm -hmm. and then you can and, put them in the bowl. Okay. Cut a few more up here. And uh, will I be using a frying pan with these? Yes. Okay. So I'll make sure. And uh, I will put the sunflower oil in the frying pan, I take it? Exactly. Okay. Wow, this knife isn't as sharp as I thought it was. It's a different one here. A little sharper knife here. It's not a good one either. Oh my good knife. Um, for all of our vegan followers and friends out there, is there like a way that we could substitute the feta? Yes, um, there is a way to substitute it with um, uh, vegan feta cheese. Um, as far as I'm aware, um, there is a worldwide brand called Violife. But uh, if they cannot get something like that, uh, they could definitely use um, um, nutritional yeast that gives the cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very nice. So nutritional yeast, okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good tip. Yeah, yeah we'll, um, you know, we're, I want to, I, I like doing these vegetarian dishes and, you know, start doing some vegan dishes too and maybe looking for some, some healthier ones because we do a lot of, we'll be doing a lot of grilling um, pretty much after Pascha. We'll be... Uh, <laughs> Right after Easter, we'll be doing a lot of grilling. We'll be doing a lot of grilling on Easter. And on the 28th, we're going to celebrate uh, Greek Independence Day. And uh, I'm gonna use the furno because I have a wood burning furno to do, um, uh, to put some leg lambs in. Mm, leg lamb? Nice. Leg of lamb in there. Like uh, use maybe four of them and then um, get, get some um, olive wood or some apple wood. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, just a second here. Starting to leak a little bit. Okay. So as you can see, I have okay. the tomatoes. Yes. Uh, put just the okay. pinch of salt uh, in the tomatoes. Okay. Yes, that's okay. okay. Um, put in the, the chopped uh, tomato sauce. Okay. There it is. Okay. Uh, now you put uh, um, some more salt, uh, pepper, and uh, the, uh, the spearmint, the dried spearmint. Okay. Still only able to find the mint, but I think that'll be okay. Okay. 
Okay. So I put in the salt, pepper, mint. Okay. Okay. And now you can put, uh, you can start putting the, the flour, but stirring together to see the texture that is going to. Okay. So. Orthodox um, yeah, says, what is he making? Um, Chef Bobby is making um, <laughs> the mazu castellas, which are a Santorini delicacy. And it's kind of similar to like the American apple fritter, but tomato, it, fritter. tomato fritter, fritter. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. It's going to be really so good. It's going to be really good. So, so it's so kind of. to make it. Okay, so here we go. So if you like fried green tomatoes, if you're from Texas, let's say, or the South, and you like fried green tomatoes, I think you're going to like this a lot. So, so I'm putting in flour right now and mixing yes. it with both the tomatoes that I've chopped. I chopped two tomatoes. I've also put in a chopped tomato paste, a tomato paste with chopped tomatoes. Um, I and, think it uh, will take all the flour. <laughs> okay. There we go. Wow, this smells pretty good. I mean, I kind of like the mm -hmm. way this is smelling right now. So you got a flour. Yeah, it's got some consistency here. Mm -hmm. So here we go. If you think it's too, th if you think that it's too thick, you can put just a splash of water to to loosen it. Okay. Let me just see here. Yeah, I think it might be just a little thick. Just a just a splash. Yeah. This yeah. I, we cannot give the okay. We we said two cups of flour, but. You cannot give the exact um, amount because um, it depends on the tomatoes, how watery is the um, is the, the sauce, how watery, uh, firm or uh, ripe are the tomatoes. So you sure. have to, to see it with, uh, with your hand and your eyes. I think now we have the, yeah. the right one and consistency. So, so, and now so you put the feta. Is this something you would want to do in a food processor, or do you want the tomatoes to have a little chunkiness to them? We want to have that chunkiness inside. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So we put the feta cheese, and I'm still stirring. If we put it in a, in a mixer, uh, it will be like a tomato pancakes. Or water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we don't want that. No, we don't want that. So, and we we, we so just have... try a little bit to check if the uh, the ferment and the salt are quite enough, or if it needs something, something more. To taste. I'll taste a little bit of it. We might need a little salt mm -hmm. and a little bit of that ferment. Okay. What okay, do you think? so the the, the mix the is thing? uh yes it's it's, it's great, the mix is ready. Uh so okay. we need to to preheat the sunflower oil. Okay. Some oil. Maria, do you know if tomatoes um, naturally grow on the island of Santorini? There are um, uh, one kind of uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, little tomatoes that um, they have there. Um, 
but it's difficult to find them even in uh, the rest of Greece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So could you use cherry tomatoes for this recipe? Yes, yes, we could use cherry tomatoes for this, or uh, plum tomatoes, mm -hmm. any kind of tomatoes actually. Very nice, maybe when our tomatoes grow back in, we can use our Ours. cherry tomatoes. Okay, this is a good like cultural, you know, people do green tomato fritters, could you use green okay. tomatoes for this recipe to make them green instead of red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Red looking, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think we could use green tomatoes? Uh, I think it will be a different recipe mm. because of uh, the green tomatoes. They have uh, they're more uh, they're harder and um, they have um, a tanginess in their flavor, oh, stronger than the red ones. Okay, so I, I didn't know that. These little balls? You could try it, of do course, but it will be something different. Sorry, Bob. Yeah, do I make these into little balls now? Do I make them into little balls? No, you 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 just take a spoon and you spoon them in the mm -hmm. in the hot uh, sunflower oil. Oh wow, that's even easier. Okay. Yes. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna move the the camera a little bit so it's over the kitchen or over the. Uh, so people can see the stove. So this is what we're doing now, folks. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this. And so we're the just gonna spoon be them hot? on there. And then when it's done, I'm gonna put it here. Yep. The oil should uh, be hot. And then we yeah. turn it to medium to high heat. Okay. We don't use soda for this recipe it is baking powder which is a little bit different and it's you no know, i don't think i was i supposed to put in the baking powder yes i think i think alexandros uh, is right uh, on his comment we forgot that yeah, it's yeah. not such a big so deal if you much, forget it but uh, just uh, how much half, a to put in? half a teaspoon okay, okay. there we go Thank you. Good job. Good eye. It takes a village. There you go. All right. So mix that up a little bit. We missed it too. Yeah. So. <laughs> if I explain my Alexandra. Yes. <laughs> we all missed it. Yes. Good eye. All right, so now I'm going to take a spoonful. Should I use this? Should I use a regular spoon, maybe? Maybe I should use a. I would, like yes, a, I would use a tablespoon, like with a uh, shoe, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I'm just going to put that there. Yes, exactly. And you can flatten it a little bit with, with the spoon if you want. Yes, yeah. like that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes, it's fine. Is it sizzling? Because I cannot clearly... No, I think see. it may need... No, because I think it just may need a little bit more heat. I'm going to give it another mm, yes. minute. Yes, because if it if the oil is not sizzling, um, it they will uh, drag oil in them and they will be kind of soggy. Right, right. Yeah, we want it sizzling. Yeah, I had it in uh, in medium, but now I have it in high. High, just kind of get it going, and then I'll drop it to medium. Mm -hmm. Now it's sizzling. Okay. So these are um, these are very similar to fried green, green tomatoes, I think. But if anybody's ever had fried green tomatoes, maybe they can put in the comments and they can tell us. Hey, um, I grew up with this so in the South. The comment, we're using baking powder, which is different than baking soda. Baking soda is primarily only used for baking, but you can use baking powder in a lot of things that you can put on the stove. Exactly. The, um, uh, either baking soda or uh, baking powder, um, they give... Um, 
a kind of uh, puffiness, a kind of fluffiness in whatever we put them in. Either it's a cake or mm. it's a deep fried um, uh, fritter, lukuma or whatever. It gives um, it gives a different texture, a more lighter texture. And it always has to go with something acidic to, to work. Here we have the acidity from the tomatoes. Okay, that's not ready yet. Okay, so we're going to let them fry a little bit. Yes. And uh, yeah, go from there. They will be, Is anybody they throwing will be any more comments in the comments? I kind of see things popping. But. Maybe Aurora, you can read the comments that are coming up. Yeah, Melina, she says that she like she gets it that it's for the fluffiness. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, there I can't read the comments. I can't see them right now. So um if you guys could read them for me. Ooh, boy, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, thanks Melina for commenting. I didn't really I mean, I kind of knew the difference, but I didn't fully understand. So thank you. Yeah, I, I, see that. I know that there's a difference, but it's only because I watch a lot of baking shows. <laughs> the great thing. I watch a lot of baking show, and I know that like, they, they've like messed up baking powder instead of blue soda, and it completely like ruins their cake. I love when they accidentally put salt instead of sugar. <laughs> yeah. So like, I understand that there's like differences in like those two products, even though they sound very similar. Well, Bob, about what you said uh, for the vegan recipes, we could arrange uh, one time to make uh, the Greek pasticcio, but uh, with uh, plant-based milk and uh, instead of uh, minced meat, uh, tofu. Oh, wow. Okay. That sounds interesting, too. Yeah. It will be uh... a veganized Greek recipe. <laughs> Well, you know, I think you showed me one with garbanzo beans not too long ago uh, that I still make. And I've added chicken to it. And uh, uh, it's one of our family's favorites now. I'm glad to hear that. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because you we did it originally as a kind of vegetarian dish. But then I, uh, I cooked chicken separately and cut it in little kind of strips and then put it in there and boy that just that that ended up being one of our our family's favorites yeah i love when you make that it's so good um, yeah <laughs> yeah we Very at christmas good. time we had it i think two or three times at christmas huh? yeah asked how uh, much flour that we put into this recipe and two cups of wheat flour um, as I told previously, but uh, probably Didi was not here with us uh, yet. Um, we say the recipe that we gave is uh, two cups of, fl of wheat flour. That uh, we cannot say uh, exactly the amount. It's something that uh, we see with our eye uh, when we are mixing the ingredients. Because uh, we want a thick, thick butter. Because uh, it depends uh, how much flour we will use uh, from the um, how watery are the sauce and the tomatoes that we will use. A lot goes into this. <laughs> yes. So uh, so let let's start with two cups and uh, we see if it gets more uh, more uh, it gets thicker we put some water in. Uh, if it gets uh, lighter we we put some uh, more flour. We want him a little crispy. Mm -hmm, so exactly. I'm going to flip them over one more time just to make sure I got them crispy. Ooh, hot. All right. I think and, um, I'm going to take one out. I think this was the first one we did. And um, kind of see how it tastes. 
in a minute. Mm-hmm. And we'll go from there. But, and a um, little... No, these... Go ahead. Are you okay? A little dip uh, of sauce. Well, it's not uh, Greek, but it, um, it accompanies them uh, really well. It's to mix some um, mayo with um, garlic and curry powder. It goes really well. It's, uh, it's a fusion uh, oh. combination, but it, it goes really well. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay I'm going to move some of these out of the way. That, you know, Bobby is doing a good job, and they're coming off pretty good, as you can see. And as he believes that this is one of the best oh. mezzas in Greece. Mezzas, like Ms. Mezzas, is like appetizer. Oh, okay. So, one of the better appetizers in Greece, and he is salivating. I wish we could do <laughs> And I'm salivating, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. I can yeah. smell it. It smells so good. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Wow. No, I mean, I'm excited. I'm not always excited to eat what we cook, but no, this (laughs) one, uh, uh, this one I'm excited about. This is good. It's not because I I can see (laughs) all the. uh, What are you laughing about? (laughs) You're exposing yourself. I'm what? No, they, you love you love all the dishes, right? All of them. I do love all the dishes. I do love all the dishes, but this one, I'm literally salivating, waiting for it. Okay, oh, right? No, it's. I'm so it excited. Smells yeah, so yeah. good. We're sitting outside, and it's yeah. Hey, inside. because trust me, when we started, when we were making the Christmas cookies, I was very excited for the Christmas cookies. You know, oh, yeah. and uh, no, but I do love all the dishes. Yeah, I do love all the dishes that we make. But there's uh, uh, just once in a while, you know how you have that craving in your mouth for yeah. something. Yeah, this is the something right here. Oh yeah, so oh, this yeah. is the something. Guys, we've I'm been bring these out. together in the I, on the I may show. Just lock, uh, I may just lock the doors and eat them all myself. I don't know. Well, guys, we've been uh, on the show together three times, and uh, I think that uh, you had a big cra- you have a big craving for uh, fried stuff. <laughs> we do, we yes. do. <laughs> like most Americans. Yeah. yeah. I love fried food. I love fried food. I'll reiterate. I love yes. fried food. <laughs> yes. Any food that burns my hand when I'm cooking, oh my god, it's got to be good. <laughs> it's got to be good. Okay. It's going. All right. I'm going to cook them all up, bring them out, and let's see what other... Um, I don't want to stick my face in there to see if we get any more comments. Aurora, do you want to get more comments? We haven't gotten any new comments yet, but we have been getting likes and hearts. Hey, guys, so. comment. Sorry. More comments. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, comment, you guys. So, <laughs> Rory, can read them. Yes. Slash oh, R. Also, have you guys been to San Yeah. We've been. We've both been. Different Sa- times. I know, sadly. Sadly, we didn't go together. together. I went yeah. with my family. And you went with yours. Yeah, literally. So. <laughs> uh, Yes, we were all in Santorini a couple of years ago, just not all together. I know, I know. We, we, we went, went the same year. I went, I think I went like a week and a half before you. Yeah. Like, oh. It was like very close, like if we just stayed or yeah. like planned our trip a little bit different. Next time we'll, we'll be there together. Next time we can travel all the Greek Isles. Yes. Very exciting. Hopefully we can go soon. We shall see. Hopefully I can get my nice summer. Too. I know. <laughs> oh, and like warm beaches. Oh, we're, yeah. I love warm beaches. water. <laughs> and, and not too many waves because I hate waves. There's no waves in Greece. I know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what I want. It's a dream, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think you did a really good job with the fine. Hi. Right. Well, we're going to ask. Oh, thank you. 
stand on a kitchen paper to absorb the extra oil, or is this not necessary? Oh, uh, we can do that, but uh, it's not essential. And uh, uh, we Greeks are uh, are popular for like uh, for liking foods with uh, a little <laughs> bit more oil. <laughs> Hey, and it's sunflower oil. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? A little healthier. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, don't quote us. us. Don't quote us. I'm not, a, I'm not in the science field. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Dee Dee asks, I can see this being served with feta and black olives. Yes. yes. So can I. Yeah. Yes, of course. And uh, we could either put some olives in the, in the butter. Oh, Ooh, next time. Yum. Oh, my gosh. Next time, yes. Next time. And obviously, we're going to put more feta on top because that's just who we are. That's just who I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a butter that you can... Uh, it's a, a passe-partout uh, butter. I mean, you can put some uh, wilted uh, spinach. You could put some wilted uh, kale. You could put, uh, instead of uh, spermine, uh, oregano or thyme. Uh, mm. There are many things that you could put in to to have different uh, tastes and textures. In yeah, we could put some corn. Mm. Oh yeah, corn I think would be very good. You're right. Oh, yeah. I love corn actually. Me too. I have a question. Could instead of sunflower oil, could you use olive oil, or would that create like a different texture and flavor? Uh, it, it won't be a difference on the texture, but they will feel a little bit heavier because olive oil, when it is burnt, it, it has a deeper flavor. Mm -hmm. So it would be, it will be uh, uh, sometimes if the olive oil is not that good, it may be it may make the um, uh, the fritters uh, bitter, no. kind of bitter. Mm -hmm. says that oh, a huge jar of black olives to use. <laughs> yeah, so he knows for yeah. <laughs> As well as he says, can you use fenugreek Greek seasoning in it? Fenugreek? Yes. Greek? I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I think I fenugreek. Greek. I think it's uh, <laughs> the tops of the um. Sorry, I will. Uh, I will uh, remember it. Um, how is it called? This. Um, oh, they are. I looked it up. Uh, it Pinocchio. This is used in Indian cooking with a sweet, nutty flavor reminiscent of maple syrup and brown sugar and burnt oh, sugar. Yes, uh, we could use, actually we could use anything. Uh, maybe it would be better if uh, if uh, Didi could put some uh, grated uh, carrot. And uh, oh, put fenugreek in. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever I think, heard of that. I think yeah. I have grated carrots. We should do like a bunch of different versions of this. This I'm down. It's already smells. I like so it. Really good. Good. <laughs> I haven't tasted it. I'm like, really like, so yeah. good. <laughs> And another dip that we could uh, serve these is um, um, mixed uh, uh, balsamic vinegar with some honey. Ooh. It could okay. also go well. Mm. Maybe we could put this in pasta. Do you think that's possible? All right. I've got some carrots, grated okay. carrots. I'm going to put in <laughs> a little bit. We're going to yes, try the, the carrots out for what's left here, OK? All right, I'm gonna take these out though because these should be ready. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put the carrots on a separate plate. Wow, this looks delicious. Guys, look at this. Maria did this. This is amazing. We can already smell it from this outside. Is so super yeah. Okay. Right? I'm like I am ready for this. Moment. Well, Bob, you did a great job with the okay. frying. They have the the perfect golden co color. Look at you, Baba. Yay, Baba. Oh, thank, you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, daughters. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to the show, I love you guys. You guys are so we were good on Alpha TV, and we didn't know how to <laughs> correct him when he was calling us. Bobby's daughters. Yeah. So for now, <laughs> daughter is Baba. Yes. That's right. That's just Baba. It went from Theo Bobby to Baba. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow, that is awesome. Look at that. Okay. Ah, uh, I just hope another version, guys. But I don't know if it's quite Greek, but it would be really tasty uh, with uh, shredded um, uh, beets, beetroots, and uh, oh. uh, some chopped uh, spinach, and to serve it with some uh, uh, cream cheese and uh, smoked salmon. Oh. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> That is yes. Melina says that they look delicious and they have a nice color. Thank you. Thank you. We're really excited and I hope you, you try this recipe at home. Oh, it's it's it. Yeah, we would love to see what you guys make. Yeah, please post it. If you try this recipe at home, post it. We'll make sure uh, we get it on the page, put it in the comments and well, uh, I'll give it a try, you know, it's, uh, look at that. Okay, so these are the, the ones with the, um, with the carrots here. So we're going to, and then we're going to bring this out to taste. Mm -hmm. We have to have one of these. Right now, and then it looks delicious. You should make some at home. It, it, oh, this, thank you. Like, it doesn't take too this long, honestly. Too long. Um, and they're very so happy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty and, now we can, and now we can make them real quick. Yeah, we can make them at our own homes. <laughs> yeah, and all the variations that Maria was talking about, like, we should try them. So should you guys. Send Definitely. us a picture. Yeah. Definitely it. Yeah, when I have guests, this is what I'm going to cook. It's like I was... I was thinking I'm going to have some, we're going to tape a couple of shows and, uh, and we're going to have to pre-tape them. But one of the shows is going to be musicians from Cyprus are going to be over at the house on the 7th of March. And I was thinking, what do I cook for them? Because they're kind of vegetarian. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I think this will be perfect. And exactly. yeah, I think this will just be perfect for them. And we'll try some with carrots, we'll try some with the olives. Uh, some with honey. Um, no, this is perfect. Thank you for introducing us to this. And, yeah, we should uh, try that feta too. Yeah, for them. Find vegan feta. I want to see if vegan feta mm. tastes the same. Exactly. Yeah, I really want to know. Have you tried it, Maria? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Have you tried vegan feta? Uh, yes. It's uh, it's quite good. It's quite good. Um, it's not respond well to if you go melt it, uh, for example, oh. in a toast, uh, mm -hmm. in a sandwich, toast it. But um, if you eat it as a side or uh, mixed with something, uh, you you cannot tell the difference. Ooh, we shall see. Okay, Didi now says that she's going to be making them tonight with black olives and feta. Please send us a picture. Yeah, we would love to see. We would love to see it, and we can repost it on our, people. our multitude of platforms. Yes, Facebook and Instagram or where we would repost it. But yeah, very cool, Dee Dee. Oh, with fish. With fish. Oh, like on the side or? Yeah, right? Yeah, it would probably be, like, this would be, like, the really side dish. We could, for, for people that are fish lovers, we could omit the feta and put some shredded fish. Ooh, Ooh. you hear that, Didi? Ooh. Ooh. And you can chop it with feta? Always. Just this. Feta on everything. Mm -hmm. I would put feta on And uh, for a um, more Italian-based version, we could, mm -hmm. uh, instead of sperm, put some basil in. And some capers. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good too. Uh, I just rewatch. <laughs> I need to take some notes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay, we're going to be able to taste it. Taste test. Yep. One of each. One of each. Yeah, I feel like I have a now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the soundboard here. <laughs> oh, well, you you left in the pan the uh, 
the cooker's bite. This is the most delicious part that you left in the pan. <laughs> you should have eaten it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stevie, this is the perfect side dish. Ooh, with lemon, lemon. too. Ooh, lemon. On I love lemon, as well. too. I love lemon. <laughs> Nick getting the first bite. I know. And tis, tis. All right, guys. You know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my god. All right, let me get a let me get a picture of this. <laughs> of all of this. Hang on a second. So we can get let's make uh, Maria big. Hi. Yes, us. And okay, you guys Hello. turn around. Hi. And smile. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get a picture of food here, too. It looks incredible. No. It's so good. It smells so good. Oh, OK. Maria, here we go. OK, now this is carrots here. Oh, OK. And these are the ones without carrots. Me so, having two. OK. I want to try both. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go, you guys. Should we, hey, make us big, then we'll do the. OK, we'll do the. All right, one, two, three, go. Ah. Mm. Oh, oh my God, God, so, good. so good. Mm. Okay, bring Maria back up. I'm glad, that, guys, that you like it. This is, oh, my God, it's amazing. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Wow. Mm. Oh. I'm going to try the carrot one. <clears throat> you know, you can taste the tomatoes here, too. You know, it isn't so, mm -hmm. everything isn't so overwhelming that you can taste the tomatoes. You can really taste mm -hmm. it all. Okay, I'm going to try one with the carrots. It's really good. Yeah. Mm. Right? Wow. Well, no. I'm glad, guys, that you liked it. That is, uh, that's, very, so good. That's amazing. Thank you, Maria. You're uh, welcome. So tell us, Maria, how are you going to celebrate uh, the Greek bicentennial that's coming up? Uh, actually, I think um, I, the day is off, obviously. Uh, it's a bank holiday in Greece. So uh, if the weather is good, we will try to go for a walk at the, at the park or uh, in nature or something like that. And then we will come back at home and uh, we will make the deep fried buttered uh, cold with uh, a, a strong scordaglia. <laughs> mm. Yes. Very good. I love that. Um, well... Thank you so much. We're going to have you back. We're going to invite you back for the um, on March 28th when we do our uh, Greek Bicentennial uh, fundraiser. And uh, I'll be glad to be here. But in the meantime, we're going to be eating your cooking. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> your yes. recipe has um, become the staple of this household. Yeah. So thank you very much. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. All right. Well, let's say a few words to our guest, Maria. Thank you so Oops. much. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll we'll see you next time, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, so bye. 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 Can I bring us up? There you go. So, hey, everybody, thank you for joining us today. You may have watched us on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, we're on most of the platforms out there. You can also follow us on on uh, on Instagram as well. Although we, we're not streaming to Instagram, it's a little bit difficult to stream there. But you can definitely catch us on YouTube and Facebook and all of that. I hope you subscribe, uh, especially on YouTube. We're trying to grow that channel a little bit. So if you've only, um, uh, can you bring Melina? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Yuli says uh, delicious and hi. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Yuli, viewer number one. Uh, and thank you, uh, Melina, for following us. Uh, but if you wouldn't mind, um, follow us on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button over there. We're trying to grow that channel a little bit as well. And uh, we're going to be bringing you some really interesting content in the coming uh, weeks. We have uh, Julie Messino is going to be on the show. On uh, We're going to have a special interview with her for a song release that she's, she's doing. We're going to talk to her on on uh, Monday. Uh, Saturday, we're going to have our regular show uh, of the following week. And uh, then we're going to be interviewing some musicians here locally. They're going to play some music uh, in studio that I think you guys are going to love. It, uh, the group is called The Hajj. And we're going to talk about music, play music. And, and they were uh, here on one of our earliest, earliest episodes. episodes. Yes. Yeah, so they were really amazing. Fun. So so you don't miss a thing. Please uh, follow us on YouTube, subscribe on Facebook, and uh, join us for all the fun. And uh, do you guys have anything to say or should we say our... Carlos Azbricame! All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, -bye. Bye, <laughs> yes, us.